Hey everyone, it's Amy from Crimson Creations Company, and today I'm going to show you how to put your ink, your sublimation ink, into this Epson ET2720. I also have um, more of the other printers, the ET4700s um, behind me. They work the exact same. Um, this one prints 8.5 by 11. The ET4700 prints 8.5 by 14. That's the only difference between this one and that one. So if you're new to sublimation, these are great starter printers. Um, they work wonderful. I haven't had any issues with them. Extremely low maintenance um, and extremely easy to set up. No um, CCIS system, that's continuous ink systems to mess with. Nothing, you literally just put the ink in and go. It's that simple. So today I'm gonna show you how to do that. So when you first get your printer, so I've already used my printers, I run an Etsy shop. I run my printers every single day. Um, so I'm just gonna pretend that we're setting this up for the first time. So when you get your printer, you're just gonna follow the step-by-step -step instructions, okay? It's gonna tell you to load your ink first. Before you do anything, when you open your box, you're gonna get the printer, obviously. You're gonna get these inks, okay? You're gonna get blue, yellow, the magenta and the black, okay? These are not sublimation ink. Do not put these in your printer. This will ruin the whole thing. It won't ruin it, but it will be a pain in the butt to fix. Do not put these inks in your printer, please. I use a Canon, that black printer right there, you can kind of see in the edge of the screen. As my normal printer, I print my packing slips, my instructions, all that jazz on that printer. I take these inks, okay, these are regular inks that come with your printer. I save these inks, I dump them out into another bottle for that printer. Regular standard printer, not sublimation. <clears throat> if you do not need these inks, you can dump these inks out, okay? So, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm sorry. So, you can either, like I said, put them in another bottle and save them if you're gonna use them for a regular printer, or you could just wash them down the drain or pour them outside, whatever you want to do. Okay, so what you're gonna do, you do not throw these bottles away. You have to have these bottles. That's the purpose of washing them out. <clears throat> After you have poured your ink out, you're gonna wash the bottle with really, really hot water. I have pretty hot water at my house. It's almost scalding if you put it all the way on. So I just let it run for a little bit. It'll scald the whole bottle out, make it nice and clean. You're gonna wanna do that to the lid as well. Let me grab a pair of scissors and show you. So when you open this, these are what the bottles look like, okay? When you open this, this is the main thing you need is that nozzle, okay? See you get all the ink in there? You're gonna wash the bottle out and you're gonna wash the nozzle out. I go ahead and rinse this too, just because it has a little bit of ink in there. Um, make sure it's completely clean before you put any sublimation ink in here. So when you get done, before you do anything, you need to do this first. You're going to rinse all these bottles out completely. It's going to be completely empty, okay? What I do to, to not confuse myself is I go ahead and rip these labels off like this. And I put a little sticky things that says sublimation yellow. Fingerprints, sorry, and all that stuff on there. But this is what I do. It's easy for me to know what's what because I do have these regular bottles from other printers I've bought. So when you get your printer, we're just going to recap really quick. You're going to take this ink, get rid of this ink that's in these that's in these bottles that come with your printer, okay? Wash the bottle out, wash the lid out, and wash the nozzle out. Very, very hot water will work. You're going to let it dry completely. Like, it doesn't need to have any water in it at all. It has to dry completely, okay? Once you do that, you're going to pour your sublimation ink in. That's what this is. Okay, it looks the exact same, so, well, not exact same, but you know. This is sublimation ink. This is regular ink. This is what you're gonna keep. So, once you have these ready to go, how you do this is, it says, when you first turn your printer on, I've already set this one up, so, when you first turn your printer on, it's gonna tell you to load your ink. So, after you've washed them out, put your brand new sublimation ink in your bottles, you're going to open this, and then there's some little nozzles here. They literally just, hang on, my thing's falling. 
they literally just open up. It's not hard at all, y'all. Pull it right up, pop it in there. You're gonna open your bottle. The good thing about these are, you really can't mess this up, guys. I'm telling you, it's so easy. The yellow will not work in the black. That's how this printer's designed. The yellow lid will only work okay. in the yellow. Um, so you're gonna open this up and you're gonna refill the yellow or fill it in. You, I just let it sit there and you can watch it. It'll go right in, it's gonna fill up to the top. It's all you have to do, super simple. Um, I have a print, two more printers actually that have the CCIS systems on them. And they're great, they work wonderful, but it's, I have to do a lot of maintenance on them. Um, just because of the cords and all that. And it's just a big mess. This is so simple, y'all. So, it's that simple. It's done. You're going to do that to all your inks. And then, when you first turn your printer on, it's going to do, like, um, it does something with the ink. And it takes about 10 minutes, it says. Um, it's usually a few minutes, you know, around 10 minutes, something like that. And then, you're ready to go. And it's that simple. It's ready to go. That's all you have to do. Um, when you install it on your computer, you got to make sure you do the right drivers. I'll do another video on that. And then that's all you're ready to go. You can print now. Just close it on up and it's set. So after you've used it for a little bit and your print levels get back, you know, your ink starts going down. I always, every time I refill it, I go in here. It's going to give you a warning when the ink levels are low anyways. But every time I refill it, you're going to go to maintenance and reset ink levels. It's number five on this one. And that's all you do when you hit start and it says make sure not to squeeze the bottles blah 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 okay so hit okay make sure to match the color ink to the bottle tank obviously when you fill tank to the upper lines there's little lines on here and that's all you do and then once it's like i just filled yellow up i'm gonna go ahead and check nope i'm gonna check yellow it's filled and reset so my printer knows, hey, yellow's good. We're not gonna send her any warnings, nothing like that. You go back home and all you gotta do is print now. It's that easy, guys. Um, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Hit my hit that subscribe button. I've got more supplementation tutorials coming, and I will do another video on how to set up the drivers for this in the 4700. Like I said, they're the same exact printer, basically the 2720 and the 4700. This one prints 8.5 by 11. The only difference with the 4700 is it prints 8.5 by 14. All right. Thanks, guys, for watching. Have a good day.